in life, most people are looking for how do I make a life worth living and a retirement worth having. When I record audio files, I'm really trying to show people quick information. Most homeless need things from other places. And when I say this, I mean honestly that we need to produce a life that we care about other people. When we don't care about other people, people get lost. They lose interest in God, they don't care about the Holy Ghost, and they really don't see Jesus in anyone. When I'm talking like this, I'm talking about a lay pastor. I'm talking like a lay pastor in a way that makes most churches uncomfortable. When I visited churches in my own homelessness, what I found was ugliness, absolute ugliness, inability to problem solve, and a total lack of response time for people in need. They want to put people through a program. They want to teach people about finances. They think that is what causes homelessness. The truth is that most churches miss what is needed by those who have no home. Sometimes food in pantries goes to waste. Everyone thinks of food and hygiene products, but people with skills need professional employment, the ability to use skills and talents to serve and earn. They need personal transportation, bus passes, Uber gift cards, bikes, mopeds, scooters, or a car. They need practical technology, a laptop, a phone, email, social media. They need daily groceries, canned beverages, and healthy foods for the week. They need a safe space for a day or long term, a backyard tent, a garage cot, a floor sleeping bag, a den sofa, a church couch, a guest room, an extended stay hotel with breakfast. They need practical clothing, comfortable shoes, and multi-purpose weatherproof jackets. They need cleaning opportunities, a locked shower and a coin laundry. They need fellowship, some group that allows their souls to function and feel unconditionally accepted. Never underestimate what a small group of people can do for one person when they combine resources. The reality is that I visited many churches that literally will turn a person away that we don't have such a program or you're not a member so we're not going to help. In the Lord's time, that was never something that Jesus Christ ever said. People have to think about what they're doing, they have to respond with people immediately, and they have to be prepared for putting themselves in front of others, not at all, they need to be prepared to bend themselves down in the humblest of circumstances to allow someone to stand on their back to get a raise in life. When we raise people up is when the Lord of God in heaven is most honored, most celebrated, and most loved by people. When you tell people you can't even feed them by offering them three dollars for them to produce a meal at a fast food restaurant, you literally should never be a pastor. I've had that happen to me on many occasions and it's an unfortunate thing that pastors receive thousands to hundred thousand dollar salaries but they can't produce a meal for someone who lingers in looking for help and assistance for just one meal from them. But it's amazing what a group of people could do if they were provided the information at the beginning of a church setting. At the beginning of a church setting they could say we have a person in the audience who has lost their home. If anyone would like to give any type of donation or help or assistance on that person's life plan, we would appreciate you coming forward or meeting him in the back corner of the sanctuary at the appropriate time. Anything you can do to help, as long as it is a part of that individual's plan, would be most appreciated in the house of the Lord. Thanks for listening.